5 Minute Fiddle, I'm Ben Holder, uh, this is my fiddle. So another thing that's really important to the way I play is being able to play in all the keys. I guess because I like to play with um, lots of different instruments and obviously when you're playing with different instruments it's useful to be able to play in keys that maybe don't suit your instrument will suit theirs and then vice versa. So it was always really important for me uh, not to be stumped by any particular key. So the way I would practice with the keys, I mean, it's fairly obvious and it's probably the words that a lot of musicians don't want to hear, um, but it was useful. You know, it's just the way it is. Scales on arpeggios. Ugh. Um, they were all, they're the bane, aren't they, of most practice? But I, you know, I think for for especially getting around the instrument in all the different keys, it's really the only way. As well as scales and arpeggios, a bit more fun, and this is just something I did. Was I would stick on a record of a uh, well, record, a CD, you know, like. Um, I would put on a, a recording of um, a jazz musician um, and not necessarily a violin player. So for instance, I would play along with Oscar Peterson, who quite often would play songs that, as a violinist, I would play in, say, Lady Be Good in G. Well, there's recordings of Oscar Peterson doing it in E flat. And I'd do it, and, and at the time, like I was just playing along with him, but then I realised that actually, oh, well, I can play this in E flat now because I practiced it with um, Oscar Peterson in a different key. If you play along with clarinet players, if you play along with trumpet players, if you play along with sax players or even guitarists and all these different instruments like different keys for certain things. For instance, Sweet George Brown in a more traditional world with trumpet, clarinet, it's generally A flat. Violinists, gypsy jazz, hot club music, it tends to be in G or F. Um, so f playing along with different instruments really was a big thing, was a big help. So obviously your scales and arpeggios, you know what to do with that. The, the only thing I would add is I would say go through the inversions. The inversions in B flat. <laughs> Moving on, you've got A flat. A bit more difficult now, so you've got D flat with the inversions. This is G flat. Going round the, sh the keys with the sharps, D's fairly straightforward for violin. Um, after that, A, A gets a little bit, a little bit trickier. So now, uh, moving on E. So now you got the four sharps. So now, uh, B um, with the with the five sharps. And then obviously you're back to F sharp, which is the same as G flat, which you've already done. 